Welcome to the Andy Noise Experience YouTube channel. Um, today it's Sunday, August 8th, 2020. I'm out here in my backyard. I did a video recently using one of these swim tethers um, for running. And I used to do triathlons way back. Actually, I did the Bakersfield Triathlon way back in 1981. My senior in high school actually won it. And then I did a lot of triathlons in the early 80s before you had to have all the technology, the expensive bikes, wetsuits, aero gear and all of that. And I've always enjoyed swimming, but from time to time, but I've just never really been into it because it takes a lot of time and effort to go find a pool. And recently I've been looking into doing more cross training, hence I've been doing kettlebells and I've been doing running in the pool. And that's when I use this tether device that I have here. And there'll be a link in the show notes for the tether device. And uh, it comes in this handy little bag too. And uh, so, I thought about it and then I thought, you know, I kind of want to just try swimming with this thing because that's what it's actually for. And so I put it on the other day and in this video later on, you'll see me swimming uh, a couple different ways um, and uh, from a side view and a front view. And it really works. It feels a lot like swimming. I've done a lot of swimming over the years and it's pretty much similar to like running on a treadmill, swimming with this tether device. You do need to have something to tie it to. Um, here we have a sliding, uh, a slide in our pool, which, you know, we've just had forever, so we can use that. So we never know which hoop, loop to hook. I use the big one. I guess maybe the big one would be more for something wider. And you just do this and it's on there nice and strong and secure. You have this end, which I put in, and then you wrap this around your body and, you know, click it in. It's got this nice padding. And I'll tell you, you put it on and you start swimming. It's really comfortable. I was quite impressed at how comfortable it is and how, you may be swimming with your legs a little bit down than they normally are, but not too much. But then when you're doing triathlons and stuff like that, you really are dragging your legs along. In fact, I really got interested in doing these run swim runs that they started in Sweden, where you run across country over mountains, jump in and swim across the lake and then run over the next mountain range and jump into another lake. And there you actually use, you can use wetsuits and you can use buoys and you can use hand paddles. So I think I'm gonna try and find a race like that. I saw that there's one in Austin, Texas in November. Not sure whether that'll be happening or not, but figured I might as well get in some swim training. And so I thought I'd post this video and uh, please subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more coverage of training, endurance training, endurance athletes. I just did a, a podcast with the jester who just won another uh, race. He ran a 30 hour race in Georgia. And also my friend Diego Diaz from McFarland just finished off an FKT 40 miler here in Bakersfield, California. So as always, stay healthy, be boring, not epic.